So I'm William. Hi, William. I'm going to be talking about the best methods for climate change control within the agricultural setting. Quick brief of what quick brief of what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about need to know definitions, the biggest factors of climate change as a whole, and then cattle ranching and the effects on the environment. So some quick definitions are what is climate change? According to Webster Dictionary, climate change is a change in global and regional climate patterns, a particular, a change apparent for a, the mid to late 2000s, the mid to late 20th century, out onward and attributed, nope, attributed largely to the increased levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide produced by the use of fossil fuels. I'm also going to be talking a little bit about greenhouse gas effect. That is the trapping of the sun's warmth in the lower planet's atmosphere due to the greater transparency of the atmosphere atmosphere to visible radiation from the sun than to inferior radiation emitted from the planet's surface. It means the warmth, it, mean, it pretty much means the sun's rays will be trapped in the world of the planet's atmosphere and not leave and go into space. Cattle ranching is a process for raised herds of cows on the expensive tracts of land for their meat and milk. This is a quick graph of, as a whole, of greenhouse gases, many different gases, the CO2 levels of, this is people, these are fossil fuel burning, and cows are the 11% of, as part of the 11.5%. 5% of CH4, which is a part of methane. This is, as a whole of people, agriculture is only 10%, and fun little fact, the U.S. beef production roughly equals emissions of 24 million cars, which I thought was pretty crazy, and agriculture is only 10. The industrial district, which is industrial, the factories, the smoking of everything, which is up to 10%. Harry, you're good, come on in. I got you. This is a graph of certain regions and how much animal factors actually go into. So, in red is beef, or orange on, red in your screen, orange on the graph, orange is beef. Dark blue is just cattle milk. So they're, they're separated. separated. Light blue is pork, yellow is chicken, green is Goat and purple are buffalo. Connected with milk and meat, same with the goat. This is in the millions, 10.1 you know, million tons of food. A lot of food. A lot of, a lot of animal cruelty happening. So on cattle ranchers, ranch, the average cattle ranch is about one to four. Two acres, which is a lot of acres. The, the amount of acres that are being taken away in, is about one to two acres per minute, which is insane. Cattle, cows are more maintained for the race for the meat. They only last three to four years, which I think is crazy. They go through a process of fat, but they fatten up with soy. It's it's what gives cows their rich milk and tasting. They're tasting meats while also fattening them at a rapid pace, which is absolutely incredible. I think that's awful. And one of the main things I want to stop is cattle ranching. But yet, to get to the level of the, the happy level we need to be at, we need to kill a few billion cows and then stop cattle ranchers from breeding to a certain amount of cattle. The net effects on the actual environment, as I said earlier, deforestation is one of the main factors of climate change, and it is being used to put soy, cows, which have their, have their benefits, cows have their benefits, but it's absolutely incredible. It requires a lot of land to grow their crops, I did do the math. I, I will get in that later if you want me to ask the question. 
What? I did do some math. So this, this is incredible. Humans produce about 35 metric tons of CO2 each year, which a cubic foot of wood sucks up about 25 kilograms of CO2. A one metric ton is about 1,000 kilograms, so that we need a lot of trees. One acre can fit about 900 trees, so if we take away a minute or two minutes, that's 18,000, 1,800 trees we could theoretically plant. I didn't do the math on that. Um, I did not do the math on how much time it would take to lower the CO2 levels if we kept planting this amount of trees. I felt like it was too much. If you want me to do it, I will do it. I didn't think it was that relevant to the presentation. But more trees, especially in the Amazon forest, means more biodiversity, more habitats gained. If you want to go towards this, you can talk more to more wood that can be cut down to make more money towards other experiments like housing for homeless people. And it cleans the air. We all love clean air. We all love breathing. Seed. And as I said earlier, more wood means more materials to build with. Quick rebuttal. I thought of these real quick. Yes, I understand murdering cows is inhumane. But, hear me out, they're being bred to die. They're being bred to be eaten. So there, if you want to get into inhumane, we'll get to that later. We can chat about that. Steak prices. Steak prices, yes, they will go up because there's a less, there's less amount of beef. But I did do some quick math. A pound of lobster is about, in 20, 2001, is about $25. And a pound of steak is about $20. And if you want to do, we'll talk like real numbers. The commercial landing in 2000, the whole, all of 2021, there was about 1.3, there was about 137.7 million pounds of lobsters consumed. And just from January to August, there was about two, 0.36 billion cows, pounds of cows, just in January to August, which is about 2.89 billion cows. Gone. Super sad. Super impressive, to be honest. Power <laughs> <laughs> housing, man. Yeah, that is, that is, that is that's work. <laughs> So I don't, the genocide on cows is just a side effect of what we have to do to actually get to the point of happy methane stability. Thank you. You sound like Thanos. <laughs> 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 